Hi all, this is Kishore. So today uh, I will show you how to deploy a Flask application using AWS EC2 instance. So this is the application which I want to deploy. So I think you have seen this application in my previous videos. So today I will um, deploy this application in AWS EC2 instance. So let's get started. This is the AWS console and uh, you need to have the AWS account first and you need to click on EC2. So once you are clicking on AC2 instance, you will get this screen. So in this one, you need to click on instances. So I'm already having one instance, which is terminated. Now you need to click on launch instances to create a new instance. So after that, you need to name your instance. It could be anything. So I'm giving it as instance one. So if you come down, this is a new UI of the AWS console and I'm selecting windows. Actually, I want to go with windows. So yeah, if you come down here, you can see there is Microsoft Windows Server 2019. I'm just selecting that because it's a free tier and there is, uh, if you're selecting some other, then it might cost you some amount. And also this is very important. You need to tell, select T2 Micro. If you're selecting some other things, then it will cost some amounts. This is the free tier uh, eligible, uh, you know, uh, the instance type. So you, you can select that one. So once you have selected that, so you can go for uh, creating the key pair. So this is, um, you need to uh, create a new key pair. You can give any name. I'm just giving key pair one and I'm just creating it. So you can see once I'm creating, uh, created that, you can see that key pair is downloaded and we need to use in future that one. So this is a very important setting, network setting. So in this one, we have to set, uh, you know, like um, the inbound security groups. So already you can see RDP, it's already exist in this one. And we have to add new rules new security group rules so i'm just adding one so you have to add the same one so i'm just selecting http and you need to select a uh, source as 0 .0 .0 .0. Uh, because you know like um, if you uh, if uh, you know ec2 this uh, this particular ec2 what you are going to create if you want to um, you know access this ec2 in any of the system then you need to select 0, .0, 0 0.0 and also you need to add one more security group uh, that is https so I'm just selecting HTTPS and again you need to select the source as 0, 0.0, .0. So you can see if um, the IP address allows access your I mean all IP address can access your uh, instance if you are selecting 0, 0, 0.0.0 as source. So you can see now uh, the port is running in AD. You can see. So we have to create the uh, Flask application which should run in port 80 and it should be hosted in 0. So you can see the memory of the so in the free tier it is going to give 30 GB. And I'm going to create one instance by clicking on launch instance. So you can see it's a uh, successfully launched uh, instance. Just reload and just reload. Okay, now you can see I'm, I have created an instance. Um, it's still pending right now. So it will take around uh, 5 to 10 minutes or no, it will be completed within 5 minutes. So yeah, you can see it's running right now and the, the status check should also complete then only we can proceed with the instance so we'll wait for it okay now you can see the status is checked after uh, four minutes so i'm just selecting instance and i'm just uh, clicking on connect button and once you click on that you need to click on rdp client and then you can download your remote desktop file so i'll just click on download and you can see instance one rdp is downloaded remote desktop, uh, desktop. So I'll just open that file and you need to select this and uh, you need to connect. So you are trying to connect your EC2 instance, I mean the EC2 remote desktop. You need to enter password. So how to get password? You need to click on get password and you need to provide that key pay which you have created previously. So you need to select that one and you need to click on decrypt password. So this will give you a password and you need to copy it and you need to paste it in the password location and you need to click on remember me and click on ok so it will uh, and then you need to click on this uh, checkbox and you need to click on yes so once you click on that it will open a remote desktop ec2 instance for you which is a windows system and um, which will be of 1 gb ram and 30 gb uh, storage so in which you need to install flask application now you can see in the heading this is an ec2 system so which is loading currently actually it will take a uh, time because it is having only 1 gb ram so you should uh, have some patience uh, while it is opening so it will say, take some time
okay after some time uh, the system is uh, completely um, you know refreshed now we can start so first of all what i will do is i will just um, show you the storage space so you can see in the 30 gb of memory we can we are available with the 12.9 so we first of all i'm just trying to copy my chrome actually i prefer chrome browser so i want to install python in that one so i need to download it right so i want to use the chrome browser so i'm just uh, copying this from my local system to this ec2 system so this is chrome exe file So once uh, this is copied, I'm just uh, trying to install this. As you all know, like it will take some time. Okay, the installation is completed and please be patient like if it is stuck because it's only having 1 GB RAM and uh, sometimes it might slow down so we are using the free tire so i'll just click on new tab so i want python 3.9 so i'm just downloading it uh, sorry python 3.7 i want so i'll just download and install the python 3.7 so everything I'm doing in uh, EC2 system right now. So you can see I'm just downloading the uh, 3.7 version of Python and just installing it. Okay, here I need to click on add path. So we need to add it to path. So I'm just clicking on install. So it's installing right now. So till then uh, I'll just copy the project folder which I want to deploy. So these are the files I want. So I'll just copy it and uh, this installation is still going on. So I just copied the files um, from my local system. I need to paste over here for let me complete this installation. So yeah the installation is completed. So you can check this by just uh, opening the command prompt and you can just type in python and press enter you can see the python 3.7 uh, version is installed so it is confirmed right now so what we want is like um, we have to paste uh, our code here so i'm just creating a folder such as poc and i'm just adding the files inside that folder so which i copied from my local so i'm just pasting it so i'm just copying the files from my local system to this remote desktop which means the ec2 instance Okay, it's copied right now. So I'll just open this uh, directory in command prompt. And we need to install all the libraries, dependencies of this project. So for that, we need to write a command pip install minus r requirements.ext. So it will install all the files which, which we have mentioned in the requirement.txt file. So basically, these are the files, I mean, are the libraries uh, which we require in my uh, the project. So it's installing all the libraries or dependencies. Installation is completed now. Okay. So now we can run the application by just using the command python app.py. This is a Flask application, so we can run this command. So, yeah, you can see now the Flask application is able to run. I'm just copying that, um, this URL. I'm just pasting in a Chrome browser. So now you can see I'm able to run it in the EC2 instance locally. So now uh, we are uh, able to run a Flask application in the local environment. Local means in EC2 instance only we are able to run now, not able to run in any other system. Yeah. So what we want to do is like uh, we can change. Uh, so basically, as per requirement, so we have to change. Uh, port and uh, host IP address because we have used a uh, 0.0.0 as host and uh, the port as 80 um, while creating the security rules so 
we have to mention that in applic flask application okay so we have mentioned it and we need to save the application and we need to close it and we need to run it again okay so i'm just running this application now you can see port has been changed and um, you can see we are running it and i'm just trying to run this you know uh, using my local system i'll just minimize this currently i'm in local system so i'll just copy the instance ip address so you, you need to go to the instance and you need to copy public ip address so i just need to paste and i'll just run it so let's see what happens i forgot to mention the condition that uh, we need to have uh, add a setting in uh, ec2 system so that is firewall setting so without that we are unable to run in any of the system so to do that we have to go for a uh, windows firewall in ec2 system so i'm just in a ec2 system and i'm just opening windows defender firewall so once we open that you can see advanced setting so we need to click on that so once you click on that you will get this particular tab where you can see domain profile private profile and public profile so we need to click on that properties and we need to set the inbound connection as allow for all that all the tabs you can see domain tab profile tab and public tab we need to set it as allow for inbound connections for all that uh, profiles so then only we are able to run in any of the system so i'm just closing this so now we are good to go like we can use the ip address in any of the system public ip address in any of the system and we are able to run uh, this particular application in any of the system so you can see it's already run so if i refresh this you can see i was able to do the task as well so i'm just uploading image and it is able to detect the text in that image so yeah you can see the result as well so this is how it will work and um, so we can use this ip address uh, in any of the system and we can run this application so if you go to ec2 instance you can see that particular output in the um, command prompt of this particular thing so you can see in the ec2 instance it will uh, keep on running and you can see if you close this particular ec2 system then only it will run if you are not uh, running that particular application then it will uh, close that means you can run this uh, in any of the system you don't need to turn on that particular ec2 system you can close it and you can um, run this particular ip address in any of the system right now so you can say this particular application is deployed in the aws ec2 instance using windows server thank you for watching